All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we are going to be doing a demonstration and tones of a simplex multi-tone alert horn. So this is the horn only version, I believe it. Uh, yeah, this uh, only comes in a horn only version for what this manual covers. This specific one is it's not addressable, which is nice, so I can actually run it. But this specific horn is the 49CMT-WRF, and it comes on the new Simplex mounting base, where it's the base with your wiring terminals, and then your device actually mounts on that, which makes wiring a whole lot easier. And then this is the front cover plate that goes on. But because we're doing an all tones test, I don't feel like messing with that. So, the tones that this can do, you can see listed here, are chime, high-low, whoop, siren, 520 hertz, bell, and broadband. And these are your dip switch setting configurations, and you can see this is where they are. They are actually located on the back of the device, right here, and we will be doing an all tones test today. I'm going to try to do as much as I can one-handed, but some of it might require two hands. So what's going to happen is I'm going to set the tone on each, and then I'm just going to kind of clip it on, and we'll go from there. So the first one I've set up right now is Chime. All this is going to be doing is continuous pattern. I'm not coding anything through the panel. I'm just running it on straight 24 volts DC. So let's put it on. Maybe. So you can see it is definitely, uh, this has a, I played through the sounds already. This has a very, very interesting sound chip in it and I kind of like it. So that was its chime. We're now going to move on to high-low. So that is off, on, on. So on the back, you have your series of switches here. This right here tells you if you want it to just play whenever there's power supplied or listen to the smart sync cadence and turn on and off with the silence. This is your high-low volume. This is uh, if you're going through smart sync, if it is your standard coding or Canadian coding. Three, or sorry, four is just basically on or off for the horn. Five, six, and seven, those are your tone selections. And then number eight is unused and you just leave it set to off. So we are going to begin or I guess not begin, but we are going to go to high-low now. So we are going to turn switch number five, maybe if I can, off. So now switch number five is off, and now we will hear high-low. Let's clip it on, and let's press those contacts. see that was its high low tone the next tone we're going to do is whoop I was I knew it was a slim chance but I was really hoping it would do the characteristic simplex slow whoop that it does on its voice evacuation systems but it's kind of different so now we are going to turn switch six off since switch five is already in the off position and off so now five and six are off, and we're going to do whoop. Maybe. Yep, here we go. So that was whoop. The next one we're going to be doing is Siren. So we're going to turn switch five back on. So we're going to push it, maybe. We're going to put switch five now in the on position, if I physically can. And one, two, three, four. 
Five. Okay. So now this is Siren. Sorry this video is kind of terrible, but it's a cool device. It's that if you saw my post about uh, not keeping up my video schedule, this was the device that I've wanted for a long time and I finally got one, if anyone was wondering. So, let's do Siren. That was Siren. And then the next one is kind of cool. It's the 520 hertz. It actually now can function as a low frequency sounder, which is kind of cool. So you can now have a low frequency sounder on your simplex panel, other than using a voice evac system. With, or I shouldn't say voice evac, a speaker system. Here we go. Maybe. No. Nope. That was Bell. I must have flipped the switch. So this is Bell. Also, I have no clue how long my finger was in the shot, so I'm just going to uh, apologize for that right now. So now let's actually try 520 hertz. So what is that? Switch 5 needs to be off. Switch 6 needs to be on and switch 7 needs to be off. Okay, now we can do 520 hertz. That is just straight 520 hertz. And now we are going to set it to broadband, which is going to sound almost exactly, uh, almost exactly the same as 520 hertz, but slightly higher. So switch five needs to come on. Switch six needs to go off and switch seven needs to go off. So switch six needs to come off. And now we will do broadband. And that was broadband. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it has been such a delay in videos. I just started a new job and the training program was really extensive and I was working a whole bunch of overtime so like I was barely home at all. But I will hopefully be able to start getting back on schedule now that my own personal schedule has kind of evened out again. So, thank you guys for watching and as always, have a wonderful day. Thank you.